What's up guys and welcome back to some more Microsoft Flight Simulator Top Gun Maverick Carrier Landing Challenges. That's right, baby. We're back. That's a mouthful, but uh, I'm excited. So recently in a recent video, we checked out these three here. We had New York at night, Bora Bora and a storm, which didn't really work out that well. And then San Francisco. And now I'm thinking we're going to check out Gibraltar, Florida Keys and Sydney. So hopefully you guys are ready. Hopefully you're excited. And uh, here we go, baby. Let's get it. Time to get some uh, some good grades and land some planes. Oof, look at this. So we are out here in Gibraltar. Now there's that big, great rock. What's it called? I'm honestly not even sure. I mean, oh, it's gonna put us right. I was gonna, I was gonna Google it for you guys. Where's our, uh, is that where we're landing? I think that might be an assisting ship. There's where we're landing. There's our carrier over there. Dude, look at these views. Got this big rock out here. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna want to lose some uh, some airspeed. Our little landy bit is out, right? Yep, correct. We're gonna want to get in view of the. Uh... Dude, this is incredible. I've really been wanting to fly around here. I'm glad. I'm glad we're here now. We're gonna want to get in view of the carrier, and I think that the challenge here is that we're gonna have to do like a really tough essentially 90 degree turn and then land on it now obviously we could bank out right and then swoop back around if we wanted to but to be honest that doesn't sound very fun just gonna take in these views this is sick here we go stay inside the cockpit see we aren't even in view of the ball yet we're definitely gonna be coming in too high so i'm gonna slow things down we're gonna drop some altitude try to get more on our glide slope I personally like being higher than the ball. I guess it's probably not good for our landing gear because we drop a little bit harder than you're probably supposed to. But here we go. This is good. Back on slope. Maybe it's just because I like better views. Oh, this is money, baby. A little bit more speed. Not, not as money as I would have liked it to be, but hey, we, I mean, we landed it. We just maybe could have, could have taken a couple of planes out on the left there. We got to see. Precision was not good. We had wire one. Glide slope was, was the killer there. Angle of attack was good though. Okay. We kind of know where the, the, you know, carrier is at this time. We've taken in the views, which are still just absolutely spectacular. Look at the cruise ships in there and stuff. That is insane. Um, so now I, th I think we're going to be able to be a little bit more prepared here and let's see if we can, uh, do a little bit better. So we're going to lose some altitude. I don't really have a good, like midway point to be able to turn and see the, sh the ship. There it is. Here we go. Coming in a little hot. I don't think we've got to bank our turn as quickly this time. I think we might be a little low, to be honest. Can I zoom this back out? No? How do I zoom this back out? Can I zoom you back out? Beautiful. All right. Here we go. Definitely going to be low. Maybe not. We might be all right. Coming around. I Definitely a smoother turn this time around. Oh, right on the ball, baby. And good speed. Here we go. I'm pretty sure our landing bit is out. I don't know how to check without going outside. So we're just going to do that. I wish I knew how to check that on the dash. We might be coming in a little hot here. Yep. Dude, I'm starting to, to get a feeling for where we should be. Coming around. A little slow. Dude, if we could put this on the second or third line, we're going to be golden. A little hot. A ah, little, little fiery at the end there. We missed it, dude. That one would have been really good. And we boltered. We lived to see another day. Bringing her around here. I think it'd be cool to do like one solid, you know, turn. And the end of the turn, you're like right on your final approach. Would be, would be pretty cool. We're going to be a little bit low here, I think. Maybe decent though. Yeah, a little low. But we're okay. Just going to make sure we, we put her down this time. I'm not like, I mean, we're, we're not 100% going for A's or anything crazy. 
I'd like to get some decent scores. Coming in here. Got to end our turn. Right as we approach the deck. Oh my goodness. Right on the ball. A little bit to the right. A little slow. We're okay. Try to hit that wire. I think we might have hit maybe second wire. Probably first though. I feel like we may have, have given it a little bit. Not, not quite enough. Not a little bit. Yeah, we caught wire one. We needed just a little bit more time there, but overall pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. We're good. All right, let's, let's go back. We're going to try our next one. I believe we are going to the Florida Keys. The carrier is right in front of you and the conditions are good. However, the problem is one of your engines failed and you're flying fairly low. By losing the thrust of one engine, you have to have your maneuvers figured out long in advance all right so we got to think about what we're doing ahead of time look at this beautiful south florida florida keys just tiny little islands jutting out into the ocean close to cuba 90 miles from cuba right i think key west is something like that is it 90 that seems really close hey siri how far is cuba from key west hurry up because i gotta fly the uh 104 miles as the crow flies, she says. So 90 is fairly close. All right. So we've we've got, if I go full throttle, we've only got our right engine. Okay. Just wanted to test and see what was going on. Um, so we're going to want to, I mean, this, to be honest, seems like it's not going to be that hard. We're straight in line. We're coming in low, it says. So we're going to want more thrust. Let's get up up in the air. I love that you could see all the support ships and like the whole formation around it. This almost makes it easier because full throttle is is putting us still at the right speed that we want to be at just about. Going to drop here. Drop the speed, drop the alt. Oh, see, now I see where this could start to get a little bit hairy. Because you don't want to drop speed too much too early because you're going to fall out of the sky. I mean, our glide slope was not very good here. Our speed was not very good. But if we land it, that's what counts, right? Any landing is a good landing in my book. A little bit to the right. We're good, baby. This is a win. I think we even nabbed the third one. How you doing, fellas? Y'all, y'all down there, I almost, I almost hit you. I, I'm pretty sure we grabbed the third line right there. Uh, wire three, 50% malice for not setting it back to mill. That was my fault. Our, our on speed and glide slope were not good though. We can do better than that. I'm going to use a little, a little afterburner even just to get us up there. Uh, to be honest, this one, I, I feel like this is easier than any of the other ones that we've done. Conditions are perfect. We are right on line. There's not a wave in the ocean down here. It's a beautiful day. We can see everything, daylight. We're on the ball. Losing a little bit of, I, I mean, it, it's tougher to get a high grade on this one, I feel like, but actually landing it is, is not a problem at all. Just keeping these things right here, let's go. Let me switch my radio so we can hear them when they talk to us. Sometimes I forget to do that. You gotta switch your frequency. We're good here, a little high. Come on, baby. See what she looks like outside, pretty normal. Roger ball. Roger ball. Little speed. Remember mill pow, oh, we need more speed. More speed. See, that's where you could potentially get yourself in trouble is if you're coming in too, too slow because you can't add very much speed. A little to the right. Oh, come on, dude. That was it. We, we, we kind of, we dunked it though. If we would have came in smoother, that would have been, that would have been the one. That was third wire. That was on the ball the whole time that was perfect we just right at the very end got a little aggro the last couple we kind of came in a little bit a little bit too far left too so i'm gonna make sure we cut it more right this time oh this one this one's the one this one's the one a little slow but that's okay 
I'm gonna drop the nose a little bit, lose a little bit of altitude, a little slow. Still kind of came in a little bit too far left, but we're okay. Here we go. Just put it right on the money. I mean, that feels pretty good. We were a little bit off center. If we had more jets on the deck, I think we could have been in trouble there, but we got to be. I'm happy with that. Glide slope, 38%, 88% on speed. Got wire four. Ah, almost had, almost had three, but still pretty good. All right. It's time for the final one. Oh man, Sydney carrier recovery. All right. It's nighttime. Very bad weather. Low visibility. You don't have visual or radar contact with the ship, and to make matters worse, one of your engines failed. The ship is somewhere ahead of you. It's time to eject yourself, or isn't it? All right, so literally all of the bad possible things. Nighttime bad weather, can't talk to them. Engine out, don't know where they are. Gotta find them based on the lights. This is gonna be ridiculous. Gotta put it on the deck, gotta save it. Here we go. Let's take everything we've learned. We've definitely started to get a lot more confident with this, but we're going to take everything we've learned, we're going to apply it, and we're probably going to end up in the drink, but we'll see how it works out. I'd rather end up in the drink than take out some of my friends on the carry. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try doing it without... Uh... Oh, my goodness. Where is it? I'm going to try not going outside of the plane to start. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a second. Where is it? Dude, I have no clue where I am. Hello? Is that it down there? I mean, don't crash into any buildings, Trev. Power. Power. I forgot about our engine out. I had us at like 80% throttle and I, I I thought we were gonna be good and I didn't understand why we were losing speed, but yeah, en engine out, okay. I'm not gonna go outside of the plane, outside of the cockpit. We're not using external view until we find the actual carrier. Ooh, this kind of gives us a hint. It's right next to the opera house and the Sydney Harbor Bridge over here. I said Bora Bora was my favorite place I've ever been. To be honest, Sydney's a, a close second. So, I mean, we... Okay. I can't see. Where am I? Am I up in the clouds? I think we're in the clouds. We do have afterburner on one engine, so we could potentially use that if we wanted. We don't want that. Oh, gosh. Hold on. This is terrifying. We've got traffic. We've got people all over the place. Where is the carrier? Can I use this? Fail wave off. Okay, so we went too far away. I don't know where it is. It's got to be in one of these. It might. Oh, gosh. I can't see anything. I... Are we going to the ground? Oh, we're angled up here. We're good. Okay. I feel like it keeps changing our approach too. Like it keeps changing what direction we're coming from. I'm trying to use my instruments. So we're, we're looking at the horizon now. We're five under the horizon. This is, it is just pitch black out here. What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh my God, dude. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. We're, we're going to have to go outside because there's no other way we're going to actually end up doing this. I don't even know if going outside is going to help us, dude. Even outside, I can't see anything. We're, we need some headlights. Oh, I, I, I really don't know how we're going to do this. I'm going to try going right-ish. Process of elimination, right? If we, if we go right and it's not over here, then it's got to be to the left. I don't really know Sydney well enough to know where. There's downtown. And there's like a harbor key. Is it off to our right? No. That's the opera house. Do I see the opera house off in the distance over here? We might have to fly through downtown. 
No. I'm crazy. Do we have a map? We don't have the map that we can bring up. There's the opera house. It's under us. Is it under us? I really wanted to be able to do this without using, you know, the exterior view, but dude, there's no way. I mean, it, if you were flying in this kind of thing, you would at least know the area. You would know how to use a map. Okay, there's the opera house. That, that right there is the opera house. So I believe what it wants us to do, I'm assuming at this point, and we can't see anything because it's so cloudy. It's gonna want us to, oh, there's the carrier. Off to the left of the opera house. All right. Well, I think we're coming in a little hot. But I'm gonna try my best. We're actually not so, we're not so bad. We actually might need, we need speed. We need speed, we need speed, we need speed. Okay. At least we found our diamond in the rough. We, we, we found where the needle in the haystack that we're looking for. We also need to make sure that we're using full throttle. I keep forgetting that we've got an engine out. I was so worried about finding where we were and, and the approach and everything. So we want to come this way. I'm going to low buzz the, the opera house. And then we're going we're gonna to bank left and hopefully be able to catch this thing. There we go. A little high. Coming in a little fast. I don't want to back too much off of our... Our thrust, though. Coming around to the left. Going over the opera house. Dude, that's so cool. Oh, oh my goodness, dude. I was going to say, I kind of forgot where it was, but we found it. Here we go. Coming in a little hot and a little high. You just got to set this bird down, Trev. Okay. Heads up! I mean, we might have hit a couple of crew members, but I think we just put... Oh, we failed it. I, I think we did a wheelie and hit the back end there. Okay, we got this. So I'm going to drop speed just a little bit. I think like probably three-quarter throttle. We're coming in perfect on the height. We can actually see the ship now. Slow down the throttle a little bit. The the one engine business does does make it difficult, not gonna lie. All right, we're a little high. So we're gonna drop it. I would rather have extra altitude in a situation like this though. Like I am not, I'm not scared of a little extra height. Coming online. Overshot our corner a little bit. Start slowing her down. Kill it. Came in a little too high, I think. Bolter, bolter. So we're going to have to back our speed down a little bit. I'm going to put it at about 60%. We, were, we still had a bit too much there. Maybe a little bit more. Definitely had a bit too much. We were also a bit too high, so let's be careful about that. Aiming towards... Now that we know where we're going, it seems so much easier, dude. Gotta go go right by downtown. Go by the opera house and then take a left. You can see it just shining brightly out there. I don't know why it was so hard before. All right. Altitude is good. Speed's a little high. So here we go. Pull up on altitude to lose speed. Banging a left here. Don't feel like we were on the ball that well here. But if we land it, that's what counts. Speed is good. We're going to need some more speed because we're too low. Here we go. Slow it down. There it is. There it is. There it is. Power. One thing I am a little bit worried about, if you guys remember in our last one of these challenges, Bora Bora and the rough weather was hard. I wonder, is there something I, I need to do? Our thing is out, right? Yeah, our thing is extended. Um, 
Is there something I need to do to, to, you know, be able to land in bad weather? Because I feel like we're coming in pretty well here. I guess we could try one from outside. See how this goes. A little low. I'm going to pull up a little bit. We're online. A little high now. Dude, it is... I can't see anything. What? I wonder if we're not supposed to go back to mill power because I feel like we grabbed that. And that's kind of what happened in one of our in interior ones too. Maybe we just bring it all the way back. If we land it on the ship, it's a win here, okay? So I'm not going to worry about our grade too much. Maybe we just pull the power all the way back and know, get, you know, have confidence in our abilities that we're going to end up hitting it. Dude, this is just coming in from outside is so sick. I love Sydney. We got to fly around Sydney. We definitely have to fly around Sydney and really all of Australia. I know they have the the big rock in the center of the country. Oh, we I'm talking too much and not paying enough attention. So similar to the Bora Bora setup, when you look outside the plane, look at how much we're skewing to the right. I've got to use my rudders to, to angle us left again. So I think... I don't know. Maybe there's something we're doing wrong in the weather. Dude, this is so hard just to get this thing there. I can hardly see anything. Someone turn the lights on. Thank you for the lightning strike. That actually kind of helped a little bit. Here we go. Why do we keep rolling? You see how we keep rolling? Like, I, I, I pulled this all the way back and it continued rolling off even though it had caught the cable. There's something clearly going on with these weather landings that we're not, it's just not sticking. The, I mean, that definitely, I, I, I can get a smoother one than that. We're going to try to get a smoother one than that. But, um, you know, I, I don't think that one was terrible. I just don't know if there's something that I should be doing otherwise or if it's just luck of the draw or if it just has to be basically perfect because the conditions are so bad i'm not sure it's honestly significantly easier to do it inside the plane it's just when you're out here in the city you can kind of see the outline but when you're out above the water just before you land it is so tough so here we go just gonna try to make this one a little bit smoother we're having a tendency to come in a little bit too high and a little bit too fast we're on the ball here. Still need to drop some airspeed, but there's no doubt this is this is by far the most challenging, you know, landing that I've tried thus far. It is borderline ridiculous. Here we go, coming around here. On the ball. Airspeed is good. Gonna give it a little bit more for this turn. Don't come in too low. A little bit more speed. There it is. Good turn, good turn. A little bit more speed. A little bit more speed. Let's gain some altitude. There it is. All right. Back on it. Drop the speed. Here we go. Put her right on the white line. Honestly, even a little bit early if you have to. Oh, we dropped too much, I think. No, we're good. There's got to be something we're not doing because that was pretty good. There... there Either the, I don't, this makes me think maybe Bora Bora wasn't broken either. Maybe they're, I don't, I don't, it's a mod. So there's not like there's directions or anything. I'm going to see, let me see if I can find something on YouTube. Okay. I, I can't, I can't find anything. Um, shoot, man. I think the mod's fairly new. I'm going to give it a few more tries. And I'll be, I mean, you guys don't see every, you know, not every try makes the cut. I, I don't know. I, I'm try I've tried so many different things. I'm trying different speeds. I'm trying, you know, throttling up after and not throttling up after. I'm trying using our rudders and not using our rudders. I feel like we've had some, some decent attempts here and it's just not happening. I'm gonna use a little bit of left rudder to keep us straight. 
Let's, I guess let's attempt one outside here. We gotta slow down a bit. Uh, maybe a little more speed to be able to keep our thing. Dude, this is so hard. The wind is pulling against you the whole time. You lose so much more airspeed and altitude and things than you want to. You can hardly see anything. Too slow, too slow, too slow, too slow. You can't even see if the plane is level half the time. Especially outside. Where's the plane? I can't even see the plane, dude. Well. YOLO. Grab the fourth line. Nope. We have to start off inside. It, it The approach is impossible if you're outside of the plane. So we're going to start off inside and then go outside and see if we can make it a little smoother. When we get out over the water, dude, everything gets so much bumpier. All right, here we go. I'm going to use a little bit of rudder to the left. Low. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Correct last minute. I mean, we put her on the deck, but that was not smooth. I'm going to go super patient with this one. We're keeping it nice and low and slow. All the way in. Easy curve. We could honestly maybe line up our approach a bit better. Easy curve. Slow it down. Got to drop some altitude. Don't overreact. We're going to be just fine. Cut it a bit to the right. Bit back to the left. Rudder our nose to the left. Coming down. This is pretty dang good right here. That was... That was... Ah... <sighs> See, I, I think our nose is a little bit off center, and I think that's what we need to try to fix here. That was a pretty good one. I, I overcorrected the nose at the end. I'm going to cut farther left, or farther, farther to the right this time. Sorry. Ball was pretty good. Speed was a little high. But yeah, we're going to cut right, so when we make that left turn, we have more time to line it up. Back our speed off a little bit. Going to the right side of the opera house. Gonna need a little speed for the uh, the turn here. I don't like the blind turn. Just gotta kinda hope we put it in the right spot. Oh, need a sharper turn than that, but we do have plenty of time to be able to make up for it. Here we go. Little speed. Gave us so much extra time to react. Coming in nice. Slow it down. That was smooth. Why does it keep doing that? Why does it keep sending us back up like that? I don't know what... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try giving it mill power again. I don't know what to do because that, that was smooth. And it shh, does a wheelie for some reason. Got to drop it a little bit. Speed and stuff looks good. I've also... I've, I've got our air brake set up too. I might try one with an air brake and see if that helps stop us and helps... Maybe we need, because it's so windy, we've got to come in a lot slower. Is that what we're missing? That could be it. There's no, like, rule book for this. It's a mod. There's no, hey, you could have done this better. You should have done this different. That sort of thing. You just kind of got to roll with the punches here. This is a great approach. So our nose is a little off to the right. I'm going to slow it down. Let's put our speed brake on right here. Again, it just, it, sh it doesn't make any sense. I left us at about half power and put our speed brake on. It doesn't make any sense that it just shoots up into the sky. The plane definitely cheats right a little bit. So I'm, I'm going to angle ourselves left with the rudders. And I'm going to go mill power this time. And we'll see if that... If that helps. Maybe we need to come in with more speed to be able to offset the... You know, what the weather's doing to us. Power. 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 It does the same thing. We grab it. it it's, it's, it's hooking onto it and then it's just doing a wheelie. The one afterburner does help us get there a little bit quicker. It doesn't get us going very fast either. We can we can slowly lose that airspeed. I mean, to be honest, it kind of helps us with seeing the jet at least. So we could use that to our advantage. Maybe we need a full afterburner landing. Could we try that? I don't know. I'm going to put our thing up. 
And then I'm going to put it back out. We're going to bleed off our airspeed here. Can even put some speed brake on. Brake a little bit. Lose that speed. Lose that speed. Lose that speed. I'm going to try going as slow as possible here. We need to make sure we make it to the boat. But, like, let's try to just fall out of the sky onto this thing. Here we go. Speed break. Yeah, you fell out of the sky onto it. You guys get what I mean, though. We're going to come in a little bit slower and a little bit more methodical with that. But I, I'm, I'm going to put every break we have on it, and we're just going to land there and hope it sticks. I feel like for this to work, we kind of need a little bit of extra height, too. We're not going to hit the deck super hard, but we just we need, we need the extra height to, you know, help with losing the speed to glide in. Here we go. Good approach. I'm going to lose all of our speed and try to angle ourselves a little bit if we can. Here we go. Glide slope's looking good. I shouldn't switch to outside, dude. I can't see anything. All right. All the way off. Everything all the way off. Here we go. There's, there's nothing more I'm going to be able to do, dude. I don't know. There's got to be... Uh, I, I'm just going to pretend like that was good enough to land because there's no way it shouldn't have. Obviously, we, we got better, quite a bit better with time on that one. I, I don't know. The high the high wind ones, There is there a button worth pressing? Is there like... Should we be reverse thrusting? We've tried coming in hot. We've tried coming in slow. we tried everything. So I'm just going to chalk those up as they're not possible in the way that they are or there's just something that we don't know. Both are equally, um, you know, plausible. So there you guys have it. Overall, I feel like we killed it. These six were really, really fun. Way, 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 way more challenging than uh, than the original Top Gun one. So I appreciate that. And um, we're definitely going to check out more in the future as they come out. We might revisit the, the you know, tough weather ones. If we can figure out what we're supposed to do, I'd be curious to see your guys' comments down below. There is another mod that puts carriers all around the map, like all around the world. You can fly around them and see them. You can land on them and you can take off from them. And I'm pretty sure you can use any jet that you want. So you can literally like hook yourself, like taxi out, hook yourself up to the catapult, shoot off the edge of the carrier. I feel like that would be pretty sick to check out. So if you guys want to see that, drop a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for joining me here on the channel. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.